channel. As you can see, it's rainy out, rainy, ugly. Um, but the, I won't, I won't zoom in on them because of the raindrops on the, <laughs> I won't zoom in because of the raindrops on the window. Let's focus on them and not what's behind it. But the, uh, the babies are coming in, getting their peanuts. Um, been raining a lot. There comes one of them. Been raining a lot this morning. I think it's supposed to be 100% rain. At least it's not snow, snow, snow. I am not ready for snow by no means. Where did he go? There he is. I was going to say he was up there on the thing. Um, I got me a new heater for the bird bath because my, my heater... Um, broke wouldn't wouldn't heat up so my birds were going without water so I was like ah I was having to go out and make sure that the um take hot water out and unthaw it so now at least I got a heater in it so it should stay good um you know I mean they, they need drinks of water during the winter too you know so anyways out here I don't know there's a couple of them coming in um out here in the Miltonia Office's growth space, as you can see, um, like I said, everybody's thinned out really nicely and looks good. Um, I've got a spike coming up on uh, Roselia, but you can see this one is turning yellow, so it probably won't make it. But this one here looks pretty good. So um, she's fussed because I divided her, so. They, they both may not make it, so it's kind of hard to say at this point. But, um, and Lillian Nakamoto is gone, so really nothing's going on out here. Everybody's just growing. So, let's go back to the gray space and see what's going on back there. Alrighty, y'all, we are back, and again, over here in the the big band of forest, nothing much is going on. So, a little bit, go across here, and my pretty um, Richard Mueller cross, um, Richard's Bonanza, still here. Looking good. Really good. Really nice. I really like her. I really like her a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, everybody else is doing good. The uh, Hannah, the Powells are still doing good. Um, I am uh, getting the water ready to uh, fertilize uh, this week. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurry up and get it ready because um, the... Um, yeah, this is Thanksgiving week, so I gotta get everything done before Thursday, and then Thursday I get a cook, and <laughs> yeah, me and my husband will be busy cooking and whatnot for dinner and everything, and then Friday, Saturday I get a water. So, I kind of was thinking about trying to do it a, a different, uh, a different way because of Thanksgiving, but, um, I was gonna try to to plan it out to where I didn't have to water but I just couldn't couldn't work it out so yeah so everybody's doing okay on the phalaenopsis shelves nothing really changed um, the ones grown spikes are um, still coming along um, see, move some of these guys around a little bit um, it's easier to show you, I think, the spikes from the opposite side. They don't um, ever, it's harder to show them on this side. These guys are still suffering from the um, stupid bug treatment. And I'll tell you, to, if the bugs don't get them, the treatment does. And it's, the treatment's hard on phalaenopsis, it really is. So... We'll hang tight and um, we will go on the other side and see what's going on over there. 
This channel is sponsored by the Orca Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. And they even sell orchids. Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewers discount. So go check them out y'all. Alright, here we are on the side. The, um, it's really, really pouring down rain outside and the rain just got me, got me achy. I'm sure you guys know how that goes. I, I felt so much better when it was warmer. I really did. Uh, but this is uh, Tiasco Jasper, just still extending out. Um, these guys die behind, but this is her last bloom there, and then she'll start, she'll start extending. So she's doing quite well. These blooms are still here, but I know it's quite hard to tell. But can you see how green? Um, like it's amazing how. It's still here, but it's super green color now. They're really, um, they're not yellow looking at all. It's real green. Um, the, uh, that's the, uh, Yin's Black Eagle. And this is, of course, the, um, Bellina Pumpkin. This one here still looks really great. This one looks real, real good. And, uh, this one. This one's more green. <laughs> Definitely more green than that one. Um, the spike on the uh, white foul with the pink lip has gotten bigger, definitely. Looks really, really good. Um, let's see, and then jump up here. The um, this is the one on the hieroglyphica. I did get her moved up here. This is the regular hieroglyphica. The hieroglyphica. <laughs> this is the hieroglyphica. This is the hieroglyphica alba. <laughs> so, this one, uh, me and Miss Betty was talking about still how yellow the leaves look on the bottom, but the other leaves are looking um, greener and they're getting more firm. So, the more fertilizer I get in it and the more. Um, the more light it gets, the better it's doing. But yeah, here's the little hieroglyphica, and uh, she is starting to form buds, which is nice. Nice, nice. Uh, my pink Belina is about over, if you can tell how green she is. So this one won't be here much longer. Um, and I don't see either Spike doing anything else. Um... The Stortiana spike is really proceeding up there and looking good. So that's the yellow Stortiana, what is it, Nobilius, Nobilius, I think. So yep, that one's doing really, really good. Um, over here, the, um, the Pinlong, or yeah, the Pinlong Terrace, but the uh, Summer Rose, Blue Star is lost a bunch behind here. As you can see, many of them have fallen off. So mainly she just has this cluster at the bottom. So we won't be seeing her too much longer. Uh, the spike on Pinlong Cherris is really coming out up there. Looking good. Uh, I'm going to zoom way in here. The Poya Mimularioides is starting to go over, but man, fantastic scent. Fantastic scent. Fantastic. I cannot get over how great she smells. Oh. I need to fix her. Um, the. her cups. I'm not wanting to stick right, so sorry about that. Um, and basically, I think that's about it. Oops, I got you guys zoomed way in, don't I? Wasn't even paying attention. Uh, these guys are still looking good. The lobby eye. The spoon fowl. Looking good. 
could make an A root. Thought maybe it was a spike, but it's not. It's a root. But yeah, she looks really good. Looks real good. Um, and I do believe that's it. Like I said, I'll probably be able to. I'll find more um, as I water this week. Alrighty, over here, uh, not a lot is going on except for zoom in just a hair. We've got the buds opening on Ethel's Paradise. Keeps spinning her around where I can't really see it. The um, Pot Mara Love Avenue. It's good. It's really, really fantastic. Um, I redid the Hoyas here on the end. Put them in different pots and put this one in a little hanger. The pretty cute little uh, poor packs. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic little blooms. That one's so cute. Like, you really just see the. Fantastic detail in those little blooms. They're really so cute. Um, she's got a lot, a lot coming out, a lot coming. There's a bud there and a bud there. Um, this one, I can't remember if this one went over. Um, this one definitely died off, I do believe. That one was the old one. But yeah, such a cute little, cute little blooms all over her. Very cute. All right, up here, the not Laurentiana is still up there. Still out and about. I can't believe this year she did three blooms. Even though I don't know what kind she is. <laughs> uh, nothing else going on up there. Let me zoom back out. Uh, down here. Oops, I think I. Oops, I forgot that this little. Yikes. The spike had a bud forming on it and I put it right behind that four packs without thinking I had took her down and watered her and that's why I didn't even realize that yeah so I put that behind there and I don't want that I want her out here where it gets light and blooms um, I don't see anything else happening on the other two spikes back there so far Right. Um, nothing much going on on these spikes on uh, Yafon. Oh my god. Um, yeah, see her spikes go all the way back over here. And I don't really notice anything. Not, don't really notice anything on them as of yet. Um, this spike on uh, Sweet Memory like really took off. Remember last week it was 
just right here peeking over the leaves and now it's up there already so we'll get to see some blooms on her look at them roots she's growing fabulously so isn't um the uh yafon or no yafon well i got yafon on the brain the um sweet memory perfume here looking good her new leaf's fantastic looking so that's definitely a plus because you can definitely see these old marks from from the stupid bugs we had the issues with the bugs so let's go down here uh still nothing happening in this uh there is a sheath in there i don't know if you can see it so it definitely has a sheath so i'm hoping 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 that we get uh spin it around a little bit so it's more under the light that so gets better light. I'm hoping for a bud. Please bloom for me. Um, the beautiful, beautiful Mill Miltonia sunset. Still got her three here. Um, this little guy put out another. I, I knew it probably would out of uh, the new growth here. That one is the. Um, that one it's the weird one it's the um Kalyamata variation of quinia crossed with uh Forbesi, Forbesi alba it's that one it's a it's got a long name different bloom Alrighty, uh, let's see over here out these girls are still here they are they're looking kind of wilty but they're here <laughs> this one definitely looking a little wilty but I, I'm still surprised they're here um, settle me down she don't look too bad really I mean considering it's been out for a while looking good I keep hoping these newer ones get blooms in them too Get buds and blooms so far haven't noticed anything um, that's basically all up there <sighs> um, over here or down here shall I say um, nothing nothing to report as of last week um, the spike on MS uh, sunlight here is uh, progressing coming up out of there a little bit more so she's progressing right along um, down here nothing much going on um, these uh, buds came oops these buds came up out so it looks like there is possibly three three buds on uh, that Fujiwara um, yak yak what is it yak go yeah uh, to show you Fuji yak yako Fujiwara paradise <laughs> I can't ever remember that name that is not a name I can say either but yeah her buds have finally came up out of the sheath and hopefully those will bloom for us that'll be a first time so um hmm hang tight and I think that's it we'll go across the room well actually uh let's, let's just zoom you in Go up here and look at Caesar Yellow. All of them are open. Yay! I need to get her photographed. And posted. Actually, we could zoom out just a little bit. There we go. 
Cesar yellow. How pretty. Dendrobium type. Um, these are about over. These guys are, yep, not many of them left. So they're about done for. And so far, nothing going on with these guys yet. They're not open. Shouldn't be too much longer. Those, those beans are pretty big. Um, I call them beans because <laughs> they do look like beans. Let me show you if I can get over one. Um, I'm going to show you how big they are compared to, if I find my thumb, compared to my thumbnail. Yeah, they're pretty good size little beans. So, as soon as it opens, I will know which one it is. Alrighty y'all, up here not much is going on either, except for the fourth little bud is open on Lone Star Blonde. This one over here, she's getting real pale because it's uh, that one was the first one that opened, so, but she is a real light yellow, but she's such a cutie. That, that little plant never lets me down. She's always been a really good bloomer and um, yeah, really, really nice. One star blonde. Um, the little uh, bud is progressing on, let me find it there. Yep, we got a little bud progressing on there on the uh, Cycopsis Mendenhall Hildos. And we'll zoom you way back out again. Now, again, in front here, we've got stuff in the way. Uh, I'm going to work on these Kyloschistas this week, too. So you're going to get a get a video on that. And I did an update on my ghosts, which I hope everybody enjoyed. I do love my ghosts. Love, love, love my ghosts. Uh, back there is the... Uh, Lori crossed with I forget now <laughs> uh, it's pink pearl Michael said that he's like well I don't know why you can't remember that so now I'm gonna remember pink pearl now she does have a little you see her little uh, bottom lip is a little messed up there on the left side but she's still mighty pretty um, very beautiful very beautiful pink um, she's got really, really veiny, um, dark veiny pink, you know, through, throughout her like that. She's just a gorgeous, 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 uh, pink color. I adore it. I adore it. Um, I do, I do need to get that little plant divided up though. She, um, it's really a big thick plant and uh, I think it would do better a little bit if I would separate her up a little bit um, but she does have lots of uh, new like you see there's lots of new babies coming up there on her so but she's doing pretty nice and uh, I did notice um, the dittery has a couple nubbins the one on the left side there is pretty good size so the one on the right, not so big, but see, you see it right on my finger. That one on that side looks pretty good size. So might be gonna get another bloom out of her here before long. Um, the cute little uh, hairy yellow retricola is in bud, blood bud in bloom. <laughs> Got her little bloom open. Cutie little thing there. Let's see me. I like Cariella Retricola. It's a cute little, it's a small miniature plant. And of course, you know, the little, the little blooms are little, as you can see. But they, um, they definitely, you know, definitely are cute. Um, the Colorado is still here and looking fantastic. Fantastic. I adore this uh, Oncidium. She is uh, definitely one of my favorite favorites. 
Um, you can see buds forming on the others. Find my finger again. You can see back there there's buds forming on that new spike and buds forming on that new spike. So she's just doing, she's doing really phenomenal. Um, let me see. I think that's it back there. Uh, this funky little bloom's over. Let's see if I can't pinch that off. So that worked. And then you've got the gorgeous um, Praya stands, a Lori Cross Praya stands. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little bloom. I just love everything about it, the shape and everything. This one here is cute too, but she's all upside down. But yeah, it's phenomenal. I don't know why that one went upside down. I don't understand, but yeah, really, really phenomenal little plant. I do, I love anything a lorry. I really do. Uh, let's see, trying to light out. Let me zoom back out. So, everybody's got to go back up. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who guess I'll go, maybe I'll go, um, I think, did we do, uh, I can't remember who we looked at last week to say our goodbyes to, but, um, nothing much going on in this little forest of dreams here. <laughs> um, everybody just growing really good. I'm waiting, oh, look there, actually I was going to say, I'm waiting on, um, this little girl to spike, and sure enough, oh, I'll show you, sure enough. Uh, right there is a uh, spike on um, Brass of Old Little Stars. Phew, couldn't think. Whew, boy, it's 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 rainy and ugly out, and my brain's in just as much as a fog as a rainy, ugly day outside. <laughs> that's that's the honest truth. Uh, so let's see if we can get this to up here somewhere it's gonna give me a fit and of course back here is the one bloom still on the um, bill spots cross with Susan Fuchs hopefully we'll get some more blooms on that one before long looking good looking good looking really good though um, get my green fly back there where she belongs and we'll go down here and take a quick look at everybody. All the seedlings are doing fantastic. And um, I don't. Um, you know what? Let's let's just look at the pretty little pink pearl to say our goodbyes. So she is way back there, but she is well worth the look at. So. If I lock it on it. There we go. So there you guys go. So, um, yep, this will air before or after Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody had a really wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm really looking forward to it with my husband too. We should, we, we've got a really great one planned. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a really great one too. And with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And mwah, bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again. <laughs>